This is Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. Today we have some new fishing hacks. I found all these items for less than $5. So why don't you follow along and maybe you'll get some great ideas. Hack number one. I picked these up at Walmart. These are travel soap containers. And just recently on a fishing trip, I had a friend stick a barbed hook through his finger. And it always concerns me when we have a lot of these treble hooks in our boat. So I think this is a great idea to maybe protect ourselves. All we have to do is take this travel container. I'm going to break out a hole on each end. Cut them and score them. Then what you can do is when you have a lure with a lot of treble hooks, you can put that inside the travel box. And there you have it. The lure is protected and no one's going to accidentally get hooked with one of those treble hooks. Hack number two. This is an oldie but goodie, but what I found is if you go to the Dollar Tree or the, the Dollar General, they want to sell you can cozies for four or five dollars because they have logos on them. So it's annoying when you have a spool of line and you're trying to keep it from unraveling and they give you this little slot and the sticker that ends up getting old and doesn't work. So what you can do is take your can cozy, cut off a strip of line about the width of your spool, then you just simply stretch that over your spool, and then when you peel off your line, when you stop it stays put and it doesn't continue to spool. Like I said, it's an oldie but goodie, but I found a way to make it a little more economical. Hack number three. I was in the Dollar Tree and I found these. These are badge hoarders like you wear at a convention or somewhere. And my idea for these is, they come several to a pack. I'm always looking for my nail clippers so I thought what I could do is take this part of the badge holder. I can take my nail clippers and they usually have a hole in the end and I can feed that lanyard through my nail clippers and make myself a bit of a knot here. Then what you can do, you have a lanyard, you can hang your nail clippers around your neck and when you need to trim a piece of line, it's readily available and you know where they are. $1.25 hack. Hack number four. When I'm using a spinner bait, a buzz bait, or even a chatter bait, I like to add a little extra excitement on the back of my lure. Problem is sometimes you get fish grabbing at the tail here of your grub and you're missing a lot of strikes. So the answer to that is to put a trailing hook here on the back of your uh, spinner bait. And the concern is that may come off. What I found is this heat shrink tubing assortment at Harbor Freight. And we can use that to find the right size heat shrink to put over the eyelet of our hook. Then you simply cut off a short piece, apply a little bit of heat so it shrinks, okay, trim a bit. And once it cools, when you add your hook to your uh, spinner, That's not going to come off. That's securely on there. The barb from the original hook will keep that from sliding back off. So that's a great hack. And really all you're out is less than $4 for a assorted set of ink shrink tubing. And you can find all kinds of uses for that tubing. Hack number four and a half. While this isn't really a hack, it's a great idea that I found. And what you can do is we talked about putting a trailer on your spinner bait. Well, one way you can do that is go ahead and apply your trailing hook to your spinner bait and you don't have to buy a special trailing hook. And then you take one of these stops that we typically use when we're rigging for crappie and you can slide that onto your original hook, run the stop off of the tubing, pull that tight and trim it, And there you go. Your trailing hook's not going to slide back off. And you didn't have to buy anything special. You just use 
parts that we already have in our tackle box. So not really a hack, but a great idea. Hack number five. Instead of buying wacky rings to use to rig when you want to make a wacky rig, one of the options you have is I found these. These are small wire ties that you can get from Harbor Freight for less than three dollars and look how many you get. All you need to do if you're going to wacky rig your, your lure is make a loop with your wire tie run that onto your lure and there you go your lure is all set up to wacky rig and these come a hundred to a package for less than four dollars hack number six i found this velcro at walmart in the sewing section and basically it's the hook and loop of cloth side of velcro and this is 30 inches long by 5 8 inches wide now what you can do with this is if you want to make a strap for binding together your fishing poles or any other kind of loose cords, if you take a strip of this Velcro and cut it to about 10 inches long, then you add the hook and loop section on the end, leaving some stick out. And then all you have to do if you want to wrap something up is wrap it around and come back and catch your Velcro. So there you have it. For less than $5, you've got a nice way to strap together your fishing poles or cords or any other kind of item. And you can make a couple of those out of one set. This has been Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. I've showed you how to use a half a dozen items that cost us less than $5 to come up with some money saving hacks. If you like our videos, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.